and they did it again. Martin Prokop and his team mastered the Dakar Rally. Unfortunately, the underdogs don't get the coverage they should get. Because this small Czech private team is building their own Dakar competitor without factory support. And while Ford is joining the Dakar with a Ranger body, Prokop's team is using a F-150 Raptor body. In the past, they were already in the top 10 overall four times. In 2023, they could reach an amazing sixth place overall. But their problem was always power. They were very good at slower sections, but suffered on faster stages. They were running a naturally aspirated 5-liter Ford Mustang V8, while competitors were running 6 and 7-liter Corvette engines, or new V6 turbos. Prokop's team is updating their so-called Shrek step-by-step step every year. The big update this year was that they installed the 3.5-liter V6 turbo engine from Ford. So it's the same engine as the BRX Hunter and the Ford Works car. Such an update is a huge project for any team. The engine itself is smaller but produces more torque and power. And because of that it needs more cooling. And because of intercoolers it needs even more cooling. But Prokop's team mastered this update right after the last Dakar. The car was already done in early May 2023 and they could test the car intensively until the end of the year. They changed the cooling package at the front to three radiators. The upper two share one intake, but the flow gets separated with a horizontal wall. The upper heat exchanger is the intercooler. And the hard work paid off. They didn't have any engine issues and showed great overall reliability once again. But on stage one of the 2024 Dakar Rally, they got into some serious trouble. They had two punctures already after 100 kilometers. And the hardest part was still to come. They didn't have any spare tires left and they are not part of a big team where another car could help them. So they had to drive very slowly to reach the finish and lost lots of time. The rest of the Dakar rally went very good for them relative to their rivals. They were almost every time in the top 10 and in the end they reached the fifth position overall. So even another position better than the year before. Without the 49 minutes they lost in the first stage, they would have been third overall, even before Loeb in the Hunter. So it's amazing to see what the 15 guys, including driver and co-driver, are achieving each year and what a competitive and reliable machine they built. How do you like Martin Prokop's Dakar project? Let me know in the comments below and see you at the next video.